Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to be checking out the properties list locations for the Gambling King in Yakuza 0. Again, there will be 10 properties. You start with one, so you have to buy 9 of them. They'll range from about 200 million to 350 million. Yep, that's right, you heard me. So make sure you got your cash and let's get started. We're going to start with the big guy here, and it is, it's a, probably a building you've seen before but you can't interact with. It is the Big Star Pachinko area in the Gambling King's Place. This one will run you $326 million and it is the big ticket item. It takes a lot to upgrade, expensive, takes forever, but is well worth it. Grab it when you can. The second place you're going to want to check out is right around the corner from the Pachinko Place. It is the Gibson Hall, which is a big movie theater. It will set you back 300 million and increase your share price by, or your share percentage by 5%. Around the corner from the Gibson Hall, you will run into yet again another pachinko place. If you haven't figured it out, it's pretty big for the Kings. Uh, this one will set you back 224 million and it will increase your percentage earned by 6%. On the other side of Theater Square, you can find another movie theater for sale. Uh, this one shows artsy films, or at least that's how Curio explains it. This one will set you back $275 million and you will get a 5% boost to owning the area. Still near Theater Square, you will run into a hot dog place called New York Hot Dogs. Uh, students like to hang out there. It's worth $200 million and will increase your ownage of the area by another 5%. Across the street from the New York hot dog place, you can stop up at a leisure hall. It just says an entertainment leisure place. And you can pick that one up for $268 million and get another boost to your area by 5%. If you wrap all the way around from the last place you just bought, you will run into another area you can buy. Call it, it's a massage parlor. I don't remember the specific name, but it will set you back $262 million and increase your percentage of the area by 5%. It's pretty close to new mock bowling. Right below the massage parlor and also really close to mock bowling, you will find another theater you can pick up. This one will set you back 275 million and also increase your ownage of the area by another 5%. The last place you can unlock is the mock bowling alley in the Gambling Kings area. Uh, become friends with the girl behind the counter in the bowling alley and you can open it up. This one is the most tricky one because you have to get a turkey, which is three strikes in a row, and that does not unlock until after you take a couple of the other areas over. Uh, again, it just takes practice and learning the spin. I got lucky. Good luck. After you take enough of the Gambling King's turf, he will, of course, challenge you. You actually don't have to fight anyone this time. I was surprised. I walked up, didn't have to fight anyone. Instead, you have to do one of the cat fights, which you should practice beforehand because they're a bit, they're weird. It's basically rock, paper, scissors, but trying it beforehand is an easy way to get used to it. You do only have to win one round, so I do recommend picking whoever's got the best odds because there's no sense in picking someone who's going to win you a lot of money because you ain't going to earn anything. Beat them in one round, you increase your owning of the area by 10%, lose, and you lose 10%. That's it. After you acquire all the buildings and beat the Gambling King, the area will be yours. So you know how it goes. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe. Check out the links below the stream. Check out GamersHeroes.com. This is where all this comes from. Um, thanks for checking out the video, and I will see you guys next time.